I'm live. Hello, Instagram. My name is Sam the Mini Yeti, and welcome to another episode of Sam the Mini Yeti Live. Today is Friday, and uh, we're pretty much close to the end of August, so next week is going to be uh, Labor Day week. And, um, well, I actually do have some. Oh, hey, here's some. We got Spike the Chupacabras is uh, checking out the show. Cheese Bun 54321 is on. So we already get, we're already getting some people to come on. Already, already, and it looks like we're already getting some requests to come on live. But, um, yeah, before we get to that, I got some big news to tell you guys. We have started the plan. We have actually are... We are pretty close to actually... Um, we actually have a new friend coming soon named Willie the Wallaroo. And um, I'm not really too sure of when he's going to be uh, finished, but uh, he's definitely coming uh, pretty soon. Looks like uh, Jesse is coming on too. Uh, she says, sup. Sup. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm actually really excited. We um, we actually got a, a Wallaroo character coming up pretty soon. And um, we actually decided to go with a Wallaroo since, well... We have plenty of kangaroo characters, and we already got a, uh, and we actually decided, well, let's ju let's try something else. Well, we already got already got a wallaby as a character, and, uh, I don't think we see many wallaroos, so let's try, uh, let's try that. But anyway, I'm really excited to, ha to have him pretty soon in the Mini Eddie gang. Hopefully, he's gonna be a really good addition. So, with that out of the way, let's get to those live requests. So here we go. All right. <clears throat> and hello, you're on the air. I'm on the air. What's crack like, dude? Hey there, Spike. Ha What's going on? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, and what's going on, dude? Oh, not much actually. Like I say, we uh we do have a new character coming pretty soon. Uh, Willie the Wallaroo. Oh, did you hear about our new character? We just announced it last night. Oh no, I didn't. What was that again? Oh yeah, you do. I actually uh, I actually haven't heard about that. Uh, who's your new character? Well, you just got to go to our YouTube channel and find out. Oh yeah. Oh. Huh. Wow, you can tell you know, this guy's a big fan of ours. He doesn't watch our content. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I uh, but actually, if the uh, you guys, you guys gotta know anybody who's watching. Uh, Spike also has a, a new show up on the uh, top its YouTube channel, which is uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the Hundred Acre Wood, which is its own adaptation of uh, Winnie the Pooh. That was something you worked on for like, uh, what was it, uh, five months? Five months, yep. I actually did watch that first episode, and honestly, I'm pretty impressed with what you guys have been doing. You, uh, you actually took like five months. You actually filmed that thing right over there in the woods. Yeah, we have um, the other episode, or chapter two will be coming out really soon, and chapter three will be right behind it, and chapter four. Ah. I honestly, think, oh. I honestly can't wait to see more. Actually, that's um, you got, Oh wait, now I know your new character's name. Was it was a turkey, right? Was that right? Yes. Yes. Oh, now I get it. I was I was actually uh, thinking you guys had a new uh, character as a group of the Toppets, but then then I suddenly remembered. Oh, it's that turkey you was talking about. Yes. Yeah. Now I get it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all. But we have we have a lot of I, I I've been talking I've been talking telling people about this. We we have some incredible projects I've been working on the last five months, and now you're finally get to see what I have been working on. So it's really cool, you guys, to see the new Winnie the Pooh show, oh. Ian the Incredible Turkey, and then we have another thing next month. We'll be announcing our next show, Ooh. and so it's really incredible to see like. The, the future of the topics and their, these characters will carry on the legacy, we hope. Oh, yeah, of course. That's going to be really good. I am, um, uh, 
Now, I actually might uh, mention, uh, I actually might promote uh, the new Winnie, your new Winnie the Pooh show, 100 Acre Wood, in the uh, in one of my other videos. I actually, it's um, I actually keep in mind I do other videos besides uh, uh, uploading live streams onto YouTube. And uh, yes. one of your projects I've been doing is called the Mini Eddie News Report, and it's actually where I talk about news that's happening in the world of puppetry. And I decided, you know what? I think I might talk about this on the news on the next one. Well, thank you. We we been we really really worked super hard on the show, and the support from the fans, from the from the puppet community, the Winnie the Pooh community, and the book community in general, storytellers are really loving it on Facebook, Instagram. I I've been seeing people post it on their Instagrams, on their ins on their Facebook, and putting on the Facebook puppet groups. Oh, it's yeah. just it's just in insane to me by how much people care about the show and they want to see more. Oh, yeah. I, people have been talking about, like, where is Tigger? Where is Kanga? Where is Owl? Where is Rabbit? And I'm like, just keep, just just wait. Be patient yeah. with us because they're coming. Be patient. We didn't forget about them. We didn't forget about them. They're coming. It's just, uh, that was just only the first episode. That was it. That was it. That we 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 want you to get introduced. We we wanted to introduce. We want you to to feel comfortable with our Winnie the Pooh, with our piglet. Well, of course, that, yeah. That that was our goal in the first episode was make sure we nail piglet and Pooh. If we nail piglet and Pooh, the rest of the show, the rest of the series, we just fine. Oh yeah, of course. And we also want to make sure we do this brand new we introduce the brand new character, not just throw her up there front and center oh yeah slowly introduced her to the first episode she doesn't say say much but she's there you know okay. and the next episode we really throw a lot to you guys so i really hope you enjoy it, it we're talking about a, a very serious serious topic that is a problem in our world today oh yeah but but we, we want to make it not we, we don't want to force it we don't want to force this message to people so we kind of had to tweak it a little bit yeah. for the show so well, i really hope you guys enjoyed learning this message and really throwing it out there and say we need to fix it i'm not gonna tell you what kind of problem word it is but it's a very heartwarming message with these with these characters that everybody knows and we introduce yeah. brand new characters in every episode so you're, you're, you're not, I'm not going to throw you all the characters all at once. That's 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 we're not we're not we're not Marvel. Okay, we're not going to throw every single character at you all at once. That's Marvel's job. Yeah, Our that's... job is to slowly move these characters forward on the main light, and that's our goal. Well, yeah, of course. Yes. Okay, so um, I actually do have to mention. What do you? I actually have to mention. We actually have a. We actually have a friend of ours that when I actually try to introduce a new character, that it's actually some kind of obscure animal that not many people know about. And he's just, and he's usually asking things like, why is it always some kind of animal that no, not many people know about? Exactly. Like, like, there's a bunch of whole, there's a whole world of animals out there. And, and sometimes people are going to be wondering what that kind of animal is. Let's, um... Well, I like to introduce uh have characters be more obscure. Yeah. Yeah. We have well, if, if you go through the top it's gender, if you go through all the characters, nobody knew what a chupacabra was. You know, nobody knew what that what I was. Nobody yeah. knew what a meerkat was. Nobody knew what an anteater was. I was kinda of surprised about that. So if you go through the top it's we look for things that nobody talks about, like a lizard man. What kind yeah. of who knows about that kind of monster? Nobody knows that kind of monster. So we do do research on the things that nobody cares about. Yeah, we have we have we have mice and we have beavers and cats, but everybody, like, pretty much every franchise has a cat or a beaver. You know, if you think yeah, about it, every everyone knows what a dog is. Everyone knows what a cat is. Let's try an animal that you could find out in the wild. Yeah, and then, and then you think about it. Then when people say chupacabra, I think it's hilarious when somebody says chupacabra, the first thing they think of is me. Oh yeah. I think that's hilarious. Cause there was like a 
I think a, a Texas zoo, and they and they say they they caught a chupacabra on film. Everybody, I got thousands of people tagging me on that post on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Everybody's tagging me. And it's like, oh, Spikes is visiting a zoo. So I think it's yeah. hilarious if you if you're the brand, if you're like using a a creature that nobody knows about. And then people are going to think about you. When well, people think about bears, the first thing they think of is Yogi Bear, yeah. Winnie the Pooh. So when when people think about cats, they think about Sylvester, um, Garfield, you know, the, those famous cats. When people think about mice, they think about Mickey Mouse. They think about ducks, they think about Daffy and Donald. Yeah. But try to use a character that, or use a, a, a creature, a thing, whatever, and they, people will think about you straight away. Well, and that's our goal in the top it's we want you to think about us before you think about anything else i actually got so i did have to ask since i mentioned uh, yeah. times but uh, you, do you at least know what a walleroo is of course we're we, we have we are working on a, a australian show right now we uh, have a our teaser trailer will be coming out next month that's the show i was talking about the teaser trailer will be coming out next month oh and the show will be coming out in november but we do have a Wally Roo. We do have a flying fox in the show. So oh. we do have a lot of Australian animals that nobody really talks about. Yeah, we're going to have a kangaroo. We're going to have koala bears. But we're going to have these weird Australian animals that nobody talks about. We, the main character show, his, his catchphrase is, What the wombat? And that's <laughs> hilarious to me because nobody knows what a wombat is. What the wombat? Yeah, that is that is might be one of the funniest catchphrases I've heard. That is cool. So it. we're we're really excited for you guys to see that. I'm not gonna tell you what animal he is because he's really cool and he's oh. my favorite animal. So um, yeah, that, and the, and the show is really inspired by Australian culture. We had to do a lot of research, like we do for all our projects. We do a lot of research, and for okay. this, when you, when. What? I actually, actually should mention when uh when we were actually developing the character for Willie, we actually have been watching some shows and uh, movies from Australia. We looked at Crocodile Dundee. We're trying, yeah. trying to find an accurate Australian accent, and of course, uh, we've actually been trying to learn some uh, certain Aussie slang that Willie could say, like calling the girl a Sheila. That's a given. Yeah, we 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 did we did we did something like you did. But we really study their art. If you saw Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse, when, when the characters walk, you see, like, polka dots behind them. Oh, yeah. And if you look at Australian art, they really use polka dots and use, really use blending the colors. So when you see this, the cartoon, it looks like you're watching a painting come to life. Oh, and yeah. That, that's beautiful. It's really... It, it was a challenge for the animators, but... And it and it it drove us insane during editing and all that. But when you when if when the show finally comes out, you'd be like, "Oh my gosh, I'm watching a highly qualified animator making this beautiful content. It looks like something that came out from Disney or Warner Brothers. How professional it is! Cause we care about quality. Wow, it's beautiful. And that's something that I've seen so far. They, they're doing an incredible job, and I'm so excited for you guys to see these stories. And by the way, all these stories connect together. It's oh. a top it cinematic universe. Wow, that is going to be awesome, actually. That is going to be awesome. So I the have... Winnie the Pooh show connects with the top it show that connects with the 100 Acre Woods. And they, all these shows connect together. Sneaky Bat, the brand oh. new show, they all oh. connect. Oh, cool. Okay, I did have I did have kind of a kind of a funny idea, but uh, actually it would be cool. But um, would it be cool if we actually had Willie make a cameo in your Australian series? You know, just for fun. Oh, for sure, Nicky. He could definitely make a cameo. I make a cameo in, in the in in the background. So yeah, we can have him make a cameo. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be uh, pretty awesome. You um. You said you already got a Wallaroo character. You, you said Wally Roo. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that's his name is Wally. Oh! <laughs> Willie and Wally. <laughs> we, uh, 
Yeah, I, I, that was kind of a weird coincidence. The name sounds similar, but, you know, Willie, that works too. Uh, we, we, came, we came up with the show five months ago, so it's just... We, 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 I swear we didn't even... Uh, I wasn't even, we're not trying to steal from you, okay? I promise. We're okay, not... it's making sure. I'm like, oh, did I talk about this already? Oh, man. No, we, uh, no, no. No, that was a, that is pure coincidence. <laughs> but, oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I, um, I'm really excited to see uh, Willie the Walrus when he's finished. Uh, we actually got a different uh, puppet builder to, to actually do uh, Willie. So, um, so, you, you, know, you, you know, we do custom builds, too. You know you know that? Oh, yeah, you guys do. But, um, yeah, you guys do. I'm actually trying to look. I'm actually uh, looking for, not not to hate on you guys, but I'm kind of looking for, uh, like, on, I'm kind of looking for some, uh, some, some uh, more, uh, some more professional looking up uh, uh, puppet builders. And this include and uh, the one we chose, I was, okay. I, the, this new design, this new look is done by Prairie Puppets, and they also did a Kinu the Wooly Lemur. For mm -hmm. which we actually decided to go with Uzzy Works. Oh, yeah. And, uh, we were actually really impressed by the works that, that, uh, that uh, well, Uzzy Works have done. And uh, my favorite project that they did was actually like this puppet caricature of Charlie Chaplin. Oh, yes, yes. They, they do great work. I when, I when I see their puppets on eBay, I try and like I'm gonna buy them, and then hour later they're gone. So it's like, yeah, nah. they, do, they do custom builds. So if you got an idea, they they can always uh, build it for you. That's all. Oh, for thing. sure. But we usually just build our stuff. We don't. Uh -huh. We, but if we if we have an idea, we build it ourselves. But if, there, if there's a character that we see and we're like, that would be a cool character for a show. Then we buy it, but it's only like that. It has to be in our art style, you know. It has to be. We it has to. We all have to look the same. We can't just be all different well, design, yeah. you know. It can't be just like a high quality, not very high, very detailed looking character next to me, so because because yeah, it has to it has to fit in the top its style. I was actually, I actually did want to ask uh, since you guys do builds. Uh, Spike, I did want to ask. Um, yes. Can you do? Can you do trigger puppets? What do you mean by trigger? You mean like mechanisms? Yeah, like uh, Rizzo the rat. Um. Yes, but we want. We want. We when we do those, they do break. They don't. They only survive for a year or two. Oh. It's um, just. It, can, can we use mechanisms? We, you don't see those shows because we we do other projects for other people, but. The stuff, the ones that we made before, we used them. We used them a lot, and they only survived for two years. Oh, okay. that sucks. Those, nice. those, those mechanisms. I, I know. I know you. You. You use your characters a lot, so I'm expecting it will survive for that long too, because they they don't survive for a long time. They're only for. So I probably have to make you like six of them. You know if. And that's that's going to cost a lot because it's, oh, yeah. it takes a lot. It takes a lot of focus and a lot of. Um, a lot of detail work. I gotta, I gotta make the pulley exact, and it, over time, it just worn, wears out. You know, we, we rod puppets. We survive for a long time if you treat us right. You know, but those the more you use them, more they're gonna break. Yeah, I might. Um, I'm actually uh, thinking about. I was actually thinking about uh, looking for a professional to do another character I have in uh, in mind, and uh, this one's kind of a. This one is actually an animal that that most people are gonna know about, but they're not very rep they're not much represented more in the media. Yeah, Peanut, the gerbil. Oh, let's be real. We have too many. There's a lot of rodents we see out there. So we have, but we have way too many mice, rats, rabbits. But um, you don't see many gerbils around, do you? I don't. I don't. We we I I love rodents. I think rodents are the coolest characters to make puppets of. Like Marty the Meerkat, and Twigs the Beaver, and um, Lady the Otter. Like those rodent-looking characters are so fun to me. They're just just fun-looking characters. You know, I just love rodents with their big cheeks. You can do you can make 
so many different designs of rodents, and it would be unique every time you would do it. Do you know? So, of course, I um, of course the care, and of course of peanut. I'm actually planning to make him a mechanism puppet, and um, that would actually uh, I think that would actually look really good with me, uh, Kinu, and uh, Willie. I think that would look really good with us. Yeah, so what are you, are you, are you guys going to make, like, a little uh, comedy show, or what are you, what are you guys going to do? You're, you're, you're growing your gang up, your team. Yeah. you gotta, you got to come up with something, you know, got to... Not, not only are we, uh, the, not only are we kind of building our uh, troop, like, with you, the Toppets, and uh, the Figments, but um, we actually are, um, but we actually are planning on doing a couple of other projects, including an entire series and then also a sketch comedy show, Getty Sketchies. Oh yes, yes, I remember that. We actually, um, we actually might try and do some uh, fleshed out storylines with me as the main character, and um, and all of my other friends as major characters. And uh, we're also going to see if um, and of course, most of the characters you have besides me are going to be animals that not many people are going to know about. So other than Willie and Peanut. We also have a Binturong character that I actually want to try and build called uh, Stella. And uh, you, you at least know what a you know what a Binturong is. I do not. What is that? Well, a Binturong is an animal from Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal. Uh, they're omnivores. They have a prehensile tail, and uh, they actually have scent glands, which make them smell like popcorn. Oh, cat bears, bear cats. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're yeah, we got we got one of those. We got one of those. We're working. It's um. Oh, I'm just I'm gonna explain. I'm just ruining everything. about we have a project coming out next year with a bear cat. He's he's an oversized black bear cat. Oh, yeah, they're yeah they're really yeah they're really called binturongs, but bear cat is just like another name. Yeah, we have one. That smells like he loves popcorn, and he smell. And of course, they smell like popcorn. But um, yeah, we have a project coming out with this, with this oversized jolly bear cat that lives in oh. a zoo. That lives in a zoo with other other animals. But I gotta keep my mouth shut. You gotta got spoil everything, Sam. Jeez. I also, I actually should mention that um, that a uh, Kinu happens to have a crush on Stella. Sam, sorry, dude. Oh, I've, I've seen those. I have seen those pictures. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of funny. Yeah, I um, I gotta mention, but that one, but that one other uh, pic of a, uh, of a, uh, of Stella wrapped Stella's tail wrapped around uh, Kinu's. That's actually inspired by a uh, Garfield comic strip where his and Arlene's tails are kind of done that way too. Ah, uh, interesting. Interesting. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. And um, we're actually. And kind of my plan is for the uh, for the Kinu and Stella romance is that um, Kinu actually has a crush on her, but uh, Stella doesn't realize until a little bit later. And their relationship kind of slowly grows, like as they know, like as they actually kind of know each other over time. You see where I'm going with this dude, uh, Spike. Spike. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you kind of seem, you kind of seem zone, zoned out there for a bit. What oh, was that? What's that? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have notice. Oh. Did you? Did you actually listen to all that I was saying? To for for us to move on, I'm just gonna say yes. Okay. Okay. I was at now, and um, and of course, uh, Peanut. He actually, and of course, about my character, my friend, uh, Peanut. He actually lives in it. He's kind of a combination of a. Uh, he's kind. He's a shy little gerbil who happens to live right in the walls of of the house. In fact, um, his in fact his gerbil hole is right next to my. Uh, it's actually right next to the. Uh, next to the next to my closet, right over there. Is that right? Yep. Wow. I um. Peanut is a little bit shy, and um, one of the main inspirations we had for uh, for Peanut happens to be Tutter from Bear in the Big Blue House. I was about to say that. I was just about to say that. Uh, that's incredible. He's not. 
And uh, thankfully, he does not have that kind of voice that Tutter has. It's a little bit slow, just a little high-pitched, and also kind of raspy. But that's about it. Oh, yeah. I totally get it. I get it. Get it, get it, get it. Hey, do you want to meet somebody? Oh, sure. Yeah? Okay. This is this will be the first on your show, okay? He's not really the first on the show, but it, he, he's been around the block. But All right. Okay. All right. Are you shot? Okay, get pumped, get pumped, get pumped. Okay, I am pumped. Let's meet him. You know, you're not pumped. You, you gotta, gotta get pumped. Get Sam, okay. get pumped. Okay, getting pumped. Getting pumped. Okay, okay, okay. So stand right there. I gonna get him. Okay, get, get pumped. Okay, you gotta get pumped. Get pumped. You're not. You don't look pumped. I am pumped. I am pumped. Okay. I got you. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be right back. Okay, don't, 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 don't leave. Don't leave me, man. Okay. All right. I am pumped. I am pumped. Here we go. together dude okay okay so i i so i know in the beginning of the show we talked about winnie the pooh right yeah 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 so i was thinking would sam like to meet my good friend winnie the pooh oh yeah of course Will the audience love to meet winnie the pooh yeah yeah we got so please we'll warm your hands together for the funniest well he's not really funny the adorable the old, caring Winnie the Pooh, the silly old bear himself, Winnie the Pooh. All right. Pooh bear. And. Oh, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, hello oh. there. Hey there! Uh, it's a, we have Winnie the Pooh on the show. I never thought this would this. I never thought this is something that would happen. But uh, but yeah, we actually have Winnie the Pooh on Sam the Mini Live. People, this is happening. Hello there. Um, what are you exactly? Well, my name is Sam, the Mini Yeti. Oh, yippa yappa! Nice to meet you, <laughs> Sam the Yippa Wappa. No. No, no, it's Mini Yeti, Pooh. Mini Yeti. Yes, Mini Wubba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want to call me that, then uh, sure. But, um... So, Sam, I got a very important question. Oh, what? Do you have lunch for me? Actually, I, um... Well, actually, I did eat lunch, but I do have a little bit of leftover... It's um, it was actually a, it was actually a wrap, and you know what? I do have some honey for you. Would you um? I do have some honey for you. <laughs> oh. oh, Spike! After this, after this, whatever, we're gonna go and have lunch with Sandy Wooba Wabba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. It's 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 actually really good to meet you, Winnie the Pooh. So um, so so Pooh Bear, I actually yes. so so Pooh, I actually uh, so I did want to ask um, why you so why do you live under the name Sanders? Like why do you have a like why is your tree actually say Mr. Sanders when when um oh yeah. I think I just answered my own question. <laughs> wait, can, wait, what? I am so confused. You, Pooh, you, you're, you're, you apparently live under the name Sanders, and you have the name written up in gold lander, letters, like literally, that's above your door. Oh, I did not notice. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, you, you live. You literally live under a name. What? Why? Oh, oh, I thought that. I thought it said my name. I'm probably living in the wrong house. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh. I don't know how to read, so it's my bad. Oh, so. <clears throat> oh, okay. So who? What, yes. Um, now, I did want to ask where um. What do you do 
when Christopher Robin is not around? Oh, that's a very good question. I usually, I usually walk around in circles and I make a humming sound. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. I go. Okay, no, no, no. You try it. You try it. All right. How's that? That was perfect. If Rabbit was here. He'll be so proud of you. Ah, uh, I bet. Hey, so um, now I gotta ask about your friend Eeyore. Is um, yeah. Is, why is he so sad? What's wrong? Well, I don't think he's sad. I think he's just not really understood. You know, I think we don't really understand him or his feelings. Ah, uh... our our feelings are all different. You know, it's. It's just how he is. Uh, that's okay. I, um, okay, so, um, your friend, your friend Piglet, what is, um... Oh, yeah, I know, Piglet's my bestie. We, oh, we yeah. go and we, we eat honey together, we, we build things together, sometimes we get in a little mist, <laughs> well, we get in trouble sometimes, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, does, um, does Piglet ever get cold? Because um, she ha she actually happens to wear that uh, scarf ar around around his neck. Oh yeah, uh, I, she's not she doesn't get cold, but she wears that because that was her father's scarf. Uh, yeah, so that gets so it does get cold. It get, does get cold for her. I understand that. Oh, she do she doesn't wear it to get because she's cold. She wears it because her father gave it to her as a gift. Oh, that is honestly cut. Well, that's sweet. That's really sweet, actually. Yes. So, okay. Now, um, now, <clears throat> where, now, you actually have a new friend in the Hundred Acre Wood. What was her name? Uh, Lady Otter? Is that it? She's not a new friend. She's been around the neighborhood. Oh, oh. So, uh, where did she come from? Oh, right over there. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Okay, so um, so <clears throat> what was now? What was that question I was gonna ask? Mm. Oh yeah, all right. Come on, come right. on, little wuba waba. You, I got to answer the question. I got, I got to answer these questions. <laughs> now, now, how is Owl so wise? Where, where does he get all of these answers? Uh. Asking a lot of questions. Oh, I see. I um. Now your friend Rabbit. When? Now your friend Rabbit. How does he actually uh, keep his garden safe when Tigger's around? Oh, um. Make sure Tigger's not around. Oh, of course, of course. I um. Okay. Now um. Now Pooh. I, now here's here's an interesting one. Hmm. How is it that you keep getting stuck in a rabbit's ground hole? Oh, well, he always invites me for lunch, and my belly grows a little much, I guess. Ah, so two to two comes together. I hmm. see. My um, okay, so uh, okay, so besides honey. What are some of your favorite things to eat? Ooh, ooh, it, it's it's Kanga's waffles. Her waffles are incredible. Mmm, waffles. And these, and, these, and these colorful orbs that Spike eats, they're really, they're really delicious. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Waffles are I good. don't know what they're called exactly. I just call them colorful orbs. Yes. <laughs> so good. I agree. Waffles are delicious. I love waffles. And I love these, these colorful orbs that Spike is all over. You know, it's so delicious. He always brings them when he comes to the Hundred Acre Woods. Oh, wait. Colorful orbs that Spike really likes. They're called Skittles. Oh, you're talking about the colorful orbs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are called Skittles. I actually... I actually really do like Skittles myself. There are uh, 
They're actually really delicious with all that uh, fruit flavor. Oh, yeah. But, um, oh. but, uh, they can be a little bit chewy. Like, they're a little bit hard to, uh, to actually sink your teeth, sink your teeth into. Oh. Oh. I, think, I think Pooh's having a little bit of honey right there. Oh, yes. I was having a, a, a little snack during this interview. Is that, is that all right? I, I, I... Oh, that's all right. You, uh, that's all right. As long, you know what? It's okay if I have a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yes. Just lick it off my palm. There you go. Don't, don't bite my palm. Just lick it. I'm not biting it. You I'm not... weirdo. No. Ah, that was good. That's some, that is some good honey. <clears throat> okay. So, um, Pooh, since you actually yes. have some experiences with uh, bees, here's my last question. Here's my last yes. question. What, what is the, where is the worst place to be stung? Ew. <laughs> Not in the bum. Oh, no. The old jelly bum. No, no. You don't get st <laughs> That is awful. Getting stuck there. Well, one time when Spike came to the forest, he gave me a present, and I thought it was honey. I sat on it, and I got stung down the old bum. What oh. a silly old prank that is. Oh, brother. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Pooh, it's, uh, it's actually been, it's really nice to meet you. And, um, of course, your your friend Spike is a really good person to talk to as well. Hopefully. Oh, I, I just want to say one thing before I go back to the woods. Okay, what? Thank you so much for enjoying my new show. Aw, of course. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Winnie the Pooh stories, and I'm even a fan of the Disney version. So of course, I had to try out the Wait, new. Wait, there's a Disney version? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, this, what I mean to say is that, um, of course, I've been. Call, waiting Spike, call the lawyer. We're suing the Disney. <laughs> We're suing the mouse. Okay. Call the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we will see you very soon for a cup of honey. I hope so long, my friend. I actually hope to meet some of your other friends at some point. Besides, besides, I knew I had to meet you, Pooh, but hopefully someday I get to meet the, the rest of your friends. I bet they're going to be cool. I get they're, think they're going to be fun to talk with as well. Oh, for sure. Next time I'll get Tega, and I'll get Elon, and then we get Piglet, and then we get Lady, oh, yeah. and then we get Rabbit, and the Owl, and then we get Spike, because Spike's cool. Of course. Of course. Okay. So, uh, see you later, Winnie the Pooh. And, um... You can call me Pooh. My friends just call me Pooh. Okay. Thank you for coming in, Pooh. And, uh, hopefully we'll talk to, to you and Spike, uh, next time, okay? For so long! Come and oh, visit me when you have the chance. See you later, <laughs> see you later Pooh Bear. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay. So let's see who else is on the list. Hey, it's been a while since I talked to her. Hang on. <clears throat> okay. And. You're on the air. Hello there. Hey there, Jesse. It's a, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a long time since we spoke, and um, I'm actually glad to see you now because uh, not only has it been a while, but we just got through talking not only with Spike the Chupacabra, but Winnie the Pooh himself. That was Pooh Bear. I know. I saw it. I actually, that's. That was honestly pretty darn awesome. That's a that's a that's a crossover right there. Sam the Mini mm. to meet and interview Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Okay. I know you're. I know you're kind of a book reader. I just want to ask. Um, have you actually uh, read the Winnie the Pooh books yourself? Mm, 
Maybe when I was little. Ah, uh, that's cool. Vanita says, hi, Sam and Jesse. Hi. Hi. I am. Um, yeah, so I'm not. Yeah, so Spike has, and his friends have actually kind of started this new show simply called The Hundred Acre Wood. I actually might promote it on the uh, news report I'm going to be doing in a bit. And um, yeah, and yeah, I'm actually uh, I was actually a little bit surprised. The the, uh, the video itself is actually really charming. It's a uh, it's sweet and heartwarming. It's kind of cool to actually see a Winnie the Pooh adaptation to uh, a Winnie the Pooh. It's cool to see a Winnie the Pooh adaptation that's not Disney for once. Yeah, better look on the better don't look on the comments. Uh, Maxiverse Production says. I forgot how to breathe. Don't know how to breathe. Help me, Dr. Cockroach. Help! In, <laughs> Bob. Why? Because I, I am holding a dinosaur the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. Hey, so, um, okay. Um, now, I did want to ask, um... Your um, I did want to ask um, <clears throat> what is your what is your favorite uh, Winnie the Pooh movie or um, or uh, or at least from a uh, Disney? What do you think? Mm. Oh, I don't know what it. What, what... That's a hard question. I can at least I can at least tell you that. But um, I can at least tell you my favorite. Actually, the first Winnie the Pooh, my first exposure, actually has to be the Tigger movie. Mm. You know, that's the one where Tigger feels all lonely, being the only one. And, of course, um, he's trying to find his, find more of his own kind. Yeah. I actually, and, of course, that actually was the one that introduced us to his, uh, his famous bounce, the one that he calls the... Whoopty dooper, looty looper, alley ooper, bounce. Woo! <laughs> now that's a tongue twister. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, Peak Animations is now watching. That's cool. That's Peak. cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I but, think I think uh, the last live stream you did was on the Tuesday, not on a Monday. Yeah, that was the that was the thing that happened. Uh, that live stream. Yeah. Be delayed. I um. I we actually there was a, there were some things that happened over where I live, and um, because where um, where Jacob had to be staying, the, there were dogs, and uh, he didn't want to risk me being ripped to shreds by those dogs, so he had to go uh, Tuesday. Yeah, actually, when when I saw you, then you were alive, I'm like, oh god damn it, I can't, I can't join because I was watching the um, Gamescom opening live show oh where they, where they showed all the newest trailers of upcoming games oh yeah I'm actually including excited. including killer clowns from outer space they showed yes, the trailer yes i gotta mention that i am super super excited for killer clowns from outer space the game i'm actually kind of a i'm actually a really big fan of the movie it's funny it's scary and um, it's just meant to be ridiculous. Yeah. Like, you watch this movie, and, like, from the first time the clowns show up, you know it's going to be ridiculous. Even their, mm -hmm. even their ship, when it's in the ground, it looks like a circus tent. Yeah. I gotta mention, but I think my favorite scene from the Clowns from Outer Space is the bit where uh, Shorty, he's actually that little short one, he actually shows up with these boxing gloves, and he literally knocks someone's block off. Like, head comes off. Yeah. That like, is... they they announced this trailer like they took in this franchise in a game that that was never happened before. I'm like, okay, what could it be? What could it be? And then I saw the trailer, and then I saw those clouds. I'm like, they. Did not do that. Oh yeah, I'm actually. They did. 
Uh, oh, I'm I'm guessing uh, you're excited for this game too. Uh, have, are you actually a fan of Killer Clowns yourself? Mm, not really. Uh, I think um I gotta mention, but um the uh, the <clears throat> expert Killer Clowns are actually done by the Chioto Brothers. If you don't know them, mm. special effects for uh. Large Marge in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and they did the stop motion characters in Elf. Yeah. And it looks like Maxverse is actually posting a whole bunch of flags into the chat wall. Like, dang, that's a lot of flags. What'd you do in there, man? Yeah. What's that all for? There's one flag missing. He probably ran out of characters. I don't know. <laughs> Read them off. We, 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 actually, we don't know every single one of them. We just know like a certain, certain number of them, dude. I'm sorry. I think I know what, what he's doing. I think I know what he's doing. Uh, what? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nations of the world. Okay, I can at least know some of them. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now I get it. <laughs> that is... Okay, okay. So, um... There was actually another thing that I saw earlier that they revealed at the at the Gamescom, but um, but uh, they actually showed some more gameplay footage of the new SpongeBob game coming out soon, the Cosmic Shake. Nice. And um, I can tell from the gameplay trailer to this, it's supposed to be kind of like a follow up to Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, only this time SpongeBob is the only male main playable character. In fact, he has hmm. he actually. Patrick's cartwheel and Sandy's glide move. Hmm. <sighs> I've actually been playing Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. It's a pretty solid game. I mean, it's a mm -hmm. snap, but it's solid. Yeah. I um, I actually do as a SpongeBob fan. I really love the references they added from other SpongeBob episodes, including. In the rock bottom level, I was actually delighted to see the last bust of Bikini Bottom uh, arrive and then suddenly take off. Nah. Yeah. And I, and I was giggling the entire time King Neptune was on the screen because I loved him, the King Neptune spatula episode. And during my fight with the King Jellyfish, I was actually waiting for him to put on some football mm -hmm. gear and start tackling me. Like, I was waiting for that to happen, Dino. <laughs> Dino. It's Jurassic Park. Yes, Jurassic Park. It's Jurassic Park. Jesus, the actual word. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, um. Okay. For how about? How about what? How about? What is that? What is that? Um, it's a creature. It's um, I think that's a minotaur, isn't it? Hmm. Is that a minotaur? Hmm. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what it is, but I really had to buy it. That is cool, actually. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, me too. Okay, so um, Jesse, pretty soon we actually do have a uh, we actually do have some stage musicals pretty soon to see in, here in my town. Um, uh, not too, uh, not uh, in a couple weeks we're about to see uh, Beauty and the Beast. I'm just watching Beauty and the Beast. 
like it's going to be like a local production of Beauty and the Beast. We're going to be doing that. Like. Oh, wow. There. I am watching the Beauty and the Beast. There we go. When I was <laughs> glad I eat four dozen eggs every oh. morning. Help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, and I'm dying of salmonella. I eat the show. Can I, can I say something? What? I hate Gaston. Oh, of course. Of course. I can't blame And you. Hans. I can't blame you. Yeah. I actually um for all for all the for all the Disney villains, I was actually scared as a kid. Now I like them for Gaston. I even hated hated him as a kid, and I I hated him more. Oh really? I actually yeah. think I'm actually okay. So um, another show that's going to be coming that I'm I'm actually looking forward to is Shrek the Musical. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, yeah, I'm actually really excited for that. So, fun fact, um, if, you look at, if you look at the uh, recording from Broadway, like you see the live film recording that they did, you'll notice mm -hmm. the guy playing Farquaad is not even a short person. Like, he's literally a normal-sized person playing someone short. He's, like, literally on his knees. Yeah, I saw it. And I don't know why. I actually find that really funny. Mm hmm. How can you not laugh at that? That is the thing. You have to laugh at that. Yeah. <laughs> and of uh, um, and pretty soon um, the, the 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 same theater group that is doing Shrek next year, they're going to be doing Phantom of the Opera. Oh, no, that's a good one. That's a, oh, no, that's not just a good one. That's a big one, actually. Mm-hmm. I think what I'm really excited for is, um, I actually uh, think they're going to be, um, I'm actually excited to see how they're going to do the chandelier. And that's yes, Jackson, I do know the flex. I know the order, but I'm not going to sing. Yeah, you're still doing the nations of the world, dude. Like, yeah, but now it's but now it's it's the it's the one where Germany is, isn't it? Oh yeah, we get it, dude. Okay, we get so, we get it, dude. You know the lyrics, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good song, but when you just show the flags, it's not. It's I don't think it's gonna be. Uh, I actually don't think uh, not many people are, not everybody's going to know it. <laughs> well, actually, I was, I was in Greece. Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. Wait, yeah. In Greece? Really? You were at, you actually were in Greece at one point? Yeah, for two weeks. Oh, wow. That, was, that sounds like a pretty long vacation, if you ask me. Yeah, but actually, we spent two weeks to chill in a pool. Ah, Nepal. That was is that it? Hmm. The pool. Oh, the pool. Okay. I thought you said Nepal. yeah. The pool. Okay. The pool. Yeah. Nepal. Pool. Nepal. The pool. Nepal. The pool. Nepal. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So um. So Jesse. It has been great talking with you. Thanks for coming on. We got two more requests to come on live. We'll talk to you next time, okay? Hopefully, Monday All right. we'll be hopefully we'll be on time next time, okay? Hopefully. All right. See. So, see you later, Jesse. We'll talk to you. Hope we'll talk to you next time. Hopefully, see you later. See you later, Jesse. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, who's next? Oh. All right. Liana is watching with me. Oh, that's cool, Vanita. That's cool. All right. <clears throat> All right, and... Still waiting for 
want that to come on. You're on the air. Oh, hi. What? Whoa, we got uh, Dolphin on the show. So nice to see you. So good to see you, actually. It's, uh, I think this might be. You got the uh, three star. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so this is your. They're one, two, three. Three star. Well, yeah. So I'm get, I'm actually getting you uh you're actually uh this is your first time on the show. I have, don't think I've ever seen a, a dolphin on the show yet. I don't see anything. Uh you, you're a dolphin. C E C T B Uh Uh what? You're a dolphin. That did your skateboard? What? A skateboard? I'm no skateboard. I'm a Yeti. I'm a mini Yeti. Got that right. C E C T B I D Chucky Skateboarding. Uh what? That C E C T B I D Chucky Skateboarding. Chucky Skateboarding? That's your name? Sure. Okay. I th you can just say that. What is that? That problem. You, you could have just said your. You could have just said it. I. I. You could have just said it. I, I could all. I could understand just fine. So. Oh. It seems to me, you're like a. Uh, it seems like to me you're like a skateboarding dolphin. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. That's just a. That's a give yeah. us a big hug. Come on. All right. There you go. Oh. There you go. So oh, that's nice. Here we go. Yeah. Diddle diddle dumpling. My son John went to bed with the trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling. My son John. Oh, what? Wow. That was a cool rhyme, actually. Not, not gonna lie. Pretty. Wee willy wiggy. Run to the town. Upstairs. Downstairs is a nightgown. Wrap it in the window, cry for the luck. All the children are out of bed, but now it's 8 o'clock. Ah, cool. Hey, my, my main man, Mini G, the Bla Black Puppet is actually is actually check, checking the show out now. I can definitely see in the chat wall. Hello there, Mini oh, G. Oh, it is. There's That's why. It was not called it again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Uh oh. Shh, he's sleepy. Why don't we come back? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Wake up, Sam! <laughs> oh, hey, you're awake! Uh, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that song put me to sleep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that song put me to sleep. You'll wake him up! Yeah. You woke her up! Yeah. I'm sorry. You were awesome! Okay. You look good. <laughs> you. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. I guess. Um. Hey, you know it's been great talking with you, but um. We'll no problem. Okay. See you. So I guess we'll see you later. I hope it's alright. All right. It's like it's a Beauty and the Beast. Thank you. All right. Have fun. Okay. Thank okay. Mm. Okay. What? I'm sorry, but uh, what the heck was that about? But either way, let's get let's get to that next slide request. We got some people. We got some friend. We actually got some people that wanna. Oh, we got a question. Okay. Let me just get to that real quick. All right. So. The Wiggles, so sorry. 
the Wiggles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, three, two, one, two, asks, what, what is your favorite episode of Elmo's World? Well, that's easy. I think it might have to be, uh, I think my favorite has to be books, but, um, with cats right in that, right at a close second. I actually really love that they make a reference to Cats the Musical set with Earth the Kitten. That's funny. I look, I just think that's funny. But uh, anyway, now now that I have answered that, just let me get to that next live request. So here we go. <clears throat> just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Give me a second, I promise. Give me a second. I'll be right back, you guys. I promise. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Okay. Now... Now we're back. But uh, here we go. But uh, here we go. Just give me a second. <clears throat> there we go. We're back. And. Uh-oh. Camera's crooked. Camera's crooked. Hang on. Camera's crooked. Camera's crooked. This camera hates me. All right. There we go. Okay. Okay. You're on the air. Hello. Hey there, Tyler. How are you? I'm doing good, actually. How about you? Is is David around? Uh, no, he's not. He's not around, actually. Well, he's gonna miss this. I'm gonna show you my bearded dragon. Okay. Let me uh, let me go in my dad's room because he's in there. Let me see if he's awake. He's right here. Oh, okay. Ooh. Cool. That is so. His name is uh, Beardy. Beardy the bearded dragon. Now I wonder. Yeah. Now is now you're starting to make now that's starting to make me think of uh, Patchy the pirate from SpongeBob. <laughs> he has a little buddy too. He had the the little salamander I showed you that one time. Aww, that's cool. Yep. I I beat him all kinds of stuff. I beat him like worms, crickets. Ah, cool. Yep. That's a that's pretty nice actually. Yep, he's uh, he's my he's my pride and joy. Cool. You know that's always cool. Yep. Um, you've been doing. I've actually uh, we actually have. Believe it or not, um, I've actually, I'm not sure if you saw already, but um, I actually uh, met and did an interview with the Winnie the Pooh himself. Oh, really? Yeah, he was actually on the show with Spike the Chupacabra, and, um, you know, he was a cool person to talk to, and, uh, well, I think, he, I think it was kind of, uh, I think it was just kind of awesome that we got to see Winnie the Pooh on this show. That is so cool. Well, yeah. So, um, what have you been up to lately? I've uh, just been relaxing and watching. I've been watching the new uh, Jurassic World. Oh, you saw Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Dominion. Oh, Dom Dominion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, um, but yeah, that, that movie is awesome. I thought that was cool. You know what's even cooler? What? You gotta see this. You're gonna freak. What? 
I have the whole collection. Awesome. Pretty darn cool. Yep. I have I have the first one, the second, the third, the original one, and then I have all three of the, the newer ones. Ah, cool. Yep. Hey, so um just wondering, what is your favorite dinosaur? I gotta go with T Rex. Mine too, dude. Well, T Rex, T Rex, and the Velociraptor. That's a good one too. Because, because I'm like I'm I'm kind of like Owen because I have his uh, vest in my my closet. Ah, I see. I see where you're going with there. Yep. Okay, so um, what's well, okay? What is your favorite Jurassic Park movie? That's like, hard. I gotta say the first uh, Jurassic World. Oh, that's a good choice, actually. That is really good. Cause that's when we first meet Owen. Oh yeah, of course. I um, I actually gotta really love it. I gotta, I actually gotta mention, but um, I was not really a fan of the Indominus Rex or the Indoraptor. Oh really? Yeah, let's be real. The Indo the Indominus Rex is supposed to be like this uh this newly created dinosaur made by man. Mm. And um and what does the Indominus Rex look like? A big raptor. <laughs> like it literally looks like a big raptor. That can right, Indoraptor shows up in Fallen Kingdom, I'm just like have you not learned your lesson? It's an in. It's a. It's a velociraptor that can di disappear. Yeah, yeah, but like I. But the Indoraptor. Does anybody know? Dinosaurs plus hybrid equal bad news. And and a lot of killing. Yeah. I'm actually. That that uh. That might be one of the few times that uh, Jurassic Park actually kind of, kind of take me off. Like, what the heck? Have you have you seen the newer one yet? Uh, Dominion. Yes, I have, but I just don't want to talk about spoilers. So I know, I think... but there's only one in there that I want to say that it was so cool. Okay, what? Is when it's a little callback to the original. Oh, really? Yeah, it's when. Uh... I think it's when they were uh, doing something, and then he says, Alan Grant, you might want to see this. Oh, yeah. And then the original one, they said that, too. Oh, yeah, they did. Of course. There were hey. a lot of cool references to, like, the older ones. Well, yeah, of course. That's always good. That's really good. They even brought back the Barbasol. Oh, yeah. Johnson! Johnson! Did you know that they came out? He you want to hear something really cool? What? They actually came out with a Barbasol for, for at the store that looks just like it's all muddy and stuff. Oh, no way. Yes. Uh, so, it looks it was, like, so it looks like uh, the Barbasol, like when, uh, when Wayne Knight was all in the rain? Yeah. And it's... Cool. Uh, and it's, I guess it's like a collector's edition. Yeah, I guess. It had that. It had all the raptors on the front of it, on one of them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I wanted to... I'll tell you what, I've, uh, I'll tell you what, we got one more request to come alive. So uh, thanks for coming on. And hopefully we'll talk to you, uh, we'll talk to you Monday, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, so uh, see you later, Tyler. See you later. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, we got one more request, and actually, we got three more questions. We got three more questions, so I guess I, I could just answer them quickly. I can actually just answer them quickly. Here we go. And um, 
We got another one from The Wiggles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, oh, three, two, one, two. And he asks, do you think, who do you think voices Elmo better, Kevin Clash or Ryan Dillon? Uh, I guess they're both okay in their own right. They're really good, actually. Not going to lie. But um, I feel a little bit of an emotional attachment towards Kevin Clash because of how he's been, he played Elmo for years. But, you know, that kind of stuff. But um, anyway. So, um, we have one more request to come on live. So, here we go. Well, hello there, Sammy. Hey there, Camilla. You're on the air. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, not much. In fact, um, you probably saw it the, uh, close at the beginning of this live stream. Uh, I know you talked to Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. That was honestly kind of something I was not expecting anyway. The written one from the Broadway show. Uh, well, no, actually, it's the Top Hits version with uh, Spike the Chupacabra. Oh, that was him. Yeah. The whole time? Wow, I did not even know that. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. And I'm so I didn't I wasn't even in the in the, um I was trying to get in because out of nowhere it wasn't there at first. He was closing down the live stream. Yeah. How you been? Uh, well, not much. I've actually, uh, well, you know, I actually do have a new character on the way, Willie the Wallaroo. Yep. You tell me about that? Yeah. We actually started to plan on that. So, uh, the puppet builder right now is kind of gathering his supplies, uh, making sure the, uh, character goes well, of course. He's using fake fur, faux fur that he's going to be, uh, shaving down. Oh, okay. Of course. So, um... So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know Kevin has been the best Elmo for yeah. us in a, well, in a long time. Well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of been a long while since uh, Kevin Clash actually, um, since, uh, since Kevin actually has done Elmo, but I still kind of have an emotional attachment towards him. Yeah. You know, my, my mom is a huge fan of sending me sweet. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, um, are you excited for that new uh, Sesame Street, the musical, that's going to be opening in uh, New York pretty soon? Yes, I am. I have to take my mom there. Oh, cool. Uh, for, her, for her birthday. What was that? Okay. Sorry about <laughs> well, that. Well, it's okay. I have to take her there because I, t I don't want to, I only want to tell you the surprise because for her birthday, I'm going to meet. I'm going to take her to meet all of the Sesame Street characters. Okay. Yeah. All right. I won't, I, I won't mention it. My lips are sealed. Yeah. Okay. How you but, been? But, um, I'm actually, uh, but yeah, I am really excited to see how Willie the Wallaroo comes up. Oh, really? You know, all of that good stuff, of course. Yeah. Have you watched the new Minion movie? Oh, yeah. Minions, The Rise of Gru. Of course, I have seen it. Yeah, and Jurassic Park with the Minions inside. You mean a Jurassic World Dominion? Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I met Hawaii. I actually ended up rolling. I just love that. I love that one. Yeah. Oh, you want to see Hawaii? I'm in Hawaii. Oh, whoa, no way. Yeah, oh. I'm in Hawaii. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, I'm in, I'm, I'm in Hawaii. Sweet. Yeah. So, tell me a couple of questions before I go. Okay. Um, so, so, Emo and all of his friends are coming to this musical. How you... I ever seen it before? No, actually, this is really actually this is new. It hasn't even yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, surprise. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I was gonna ask if you guys were gonna see that, and I, and I, and you, and yeah, it hasn't even opened yet. It's gonna be opening in like a couple weeks. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm going to take my mom to her favorite restaurant of all times. Oh, really? Yes. Because I'm going to see the McKevin class who does the voice of Elmo there. No. At, way. The same res at the same restaurant that we're going to. No way. No way. Yes, yes, yes. Because no. my mom is. No. My mom, my no mom is. My mom is dialing to meet him. She's no. begging me and begging me and begging me to meet him. Okay. Hey, uh, okay. So yeah, I have, I have to go now. Okay. Oh, my brother Khalif said hi to you, Byron. That's oh. Khalif. Hey. Okay, hey. so, um, we'll talk I have to go now. Okay. So, see you later. Bye. Thanks for Bye. coming. Bye. Talk to you, Hope. Bye. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that was a cool live stream we did here. But, um, but yeah, we got to talk with Spike. Been a while. And then we got to talk with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh was on the show. And uh, we still got to catch up with some friends that didn't get to come on last time. So, um, so everyone who got to come on th this live stream but didn't get to do last time, it's been great catching up with you. And um, hopefully we'll see you all Monday. So see you later, folks.